Hey guys, I am so excited to share with you my morning routine today. Uh, about a month ago, I started a brand new, really intensive gut healing protocol. And so I just wanted to share this video to show you what I'm doing to help support my body and my mind during this process. So I'm gonna show you what I typically eat, what I do to work out, and all the other supportive modalities that I'm using to help myself heal during this time. So let's get started. So the first thing I always do when I wake up is to have a big glass of water that I get from my Berkey water filter and I put apple cider vinegar in it to help support my digestion first thing in the morning. After I'm done with my water, I then take my herbal supplements, which taste absolutely horrible, uh, and then I start oil pulling for about 15 minutes. So if you don't already know about oil pulling, it's amazing for balancing the microbiome inside of your mouth. It's part of a microbiome cleanse I'm doing for my mouth, and it's also great for cleansing your mouth of toxins, for gum health, for teeth health, and for your breath. After I get that going, I sit down on my couch and I start to do a little bit of reading. Right now I'm reading Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, Becoming Supernatural. If you are somebody who is interested in healing your body or your mind, absolutely pick this book up. I also love filling out my journal in the morning. I use the full focus journal. It takes about five to 15 minutes depending on how much you write. And it's a really great way to get focused and grateful in the morning. Now is the crazy part of the morning. I then get everything ready to do a coffee enema. So I'm doing about one to two of these a day to help my liver detoxify as I'm going through all these herbal cleanses, all of this uh, diet cleanses. And honestly, I absolutely love them. After I finish my coffee enema, which takes about 20 minutes, um, and my head is buzzing and I'm feeling great, I then start meditating. I use the One Giant Mind app, which I am in love with. It is by far the best meditation app I have ever used. If you're looking for an easy and accessible way to do meditation, look no further. This is not sponsored. I just absolutely love them. Now, after I have finally been up for about an hour, it's time to eat breakfast. So the first thing I do is I make my Gyokuro tea, my green tea. I've been drinking this stuff forever. I then take some supplements, which I know this looks like a ton. I'm not gonna get into what all of these things do, but they're absolutely amazing and supportive for my body. And then I always, always eat chicken soup for breakfast. So I batch make my chicken soup, so I just have to heat it up. I always add flax seeds to it to help support my digestion and get a little fiber in. Then I put in cooked and cooled rice, which is a resistant starch, which feeds all the amazing bugs in your gut. And then I pour in a bunch of olive oil to give myself some extra healthy fats. Then I pour my chicken soup on top which is the best tasting chicken soup in the world and absolutely nutritious. And that's it, that's breakfast. After breakfast, I usually just go and work out, but today I felt like an overachiever because it was the weekend, so I did a walk first. So I just came outside to do my daily walk and right now I'm in the middle of a seven day walking challenge. So today what I'm doing is future visualization, which kind of comes from uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, Becoming Supernatural and his walking meditation. Basically I am walking as if the future that I want is already in existence. So I'm using the power of thought. Um, how would I feel? How would I walk? How would I breathe? Um, what would I actually be thinking about? and then uh, using an elevated emotion along with that and walking into my future as if it has already happened. And the science on this is actually really, really amazing. And it actually um, is proven to heal your body, heal your mind, all kinds of supernatural things. And I just think it's a really good practice. So I try to go on a walk every day. And each day I kind of try to do something a little bit different. So sometimes I'll do deep breathing. Sometimes I'll listen to a podcast. And today I'm doing the walking visualization and um, it's a beautiful day outside. So I just did a short 10 or 15 minute walk before going to the gym. And believe it or not, working out is my absolute favorite part of my morning, uh, probably next to coffee enemas now, which is hilarious to say. 
but normally I would do long, hard, one hour heavy lifting workouts. But since I started this program, I felt like I needed to go a little bit easier. So I've just been doing about 30 minutes. For this workout, I worked out my chest and my triceps. I followed along to a video. And then after I finished that, I did about 10 minutes of HIIT, which is something that I absolutely love and feel like just really gets me going for the day. My post-workout snack today was a crazy one. I call it jungle juice and I am obsessed with this. The other day I juiced up a ton of different vegetables in my juicer and then I fermented it for a day and so I'm doing two parts of that juice with two parts of coconut water kefir. This drink has tons of vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes and I feel like it's perfect for after a workout. So after I drank my juice, I then took a shower and then I started doing my new face microcurrent device. If you know anything about me, you know that I am obsessed with skincare. And I love this device because it basically tones, firms, and brings a lot of life to your skin. I'm using it preventatively. Obviously, I don't have a bunch of wrinkles yet, but I do this a few times a week and I really like the results that it gives me. Okay, so I just finished the rest of my skincare and makeup and I'm ready for the day. And I just wanted to quickly explain my morning routine and say that today is Sunday and I didn't really have anything to do today. So I did the most extra morning routine that I could. I fit in every single thing. Normally during the weekdays, I don't do all of this stuff. I usually cut out things here or there because it's just a really long process to do all of what I did today. It probably took, I don't know, three hours or something. Um, that being said, as I'm doing this gut healing program, I'm really having to reprioritize my mornings and really change up my morning routine. So they're definitely looking different than they used to, like I never used to do coffee enemas before. Um, but I'm actually really loving it. And I think that it's something that I am going to be evolving and changing over time as I kind of settle into this program. I've only been doing it a month. But for now, this is what I've got going on and it's working really well for me. So I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. By the way, if you wanna follow my gut healing journey, please subscribe below. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos on all kinds of stuff from what I'm eating in a day to fermentation and everything in between. So I'll see you guys next time.